Pasquera Sim Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel Zoom Confessions and Deep Secrets. Can I get you to tell you how to channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Can I get you to subscribe? Don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi Mre Zimbabwe, Takui Girai, Nyaya Buritskwa, Ne, one of my uh, political analysts, Wilbert Mokori, we are Buddha. I should say that the Zimbabweans must stop blaming Sadak. Ne, my elections. Akaribwa last year mwere Zimbabwe e, Abuda Achi taura ia Achiti uh, Achipama reasons why Sadak e, Yakasia President ni maso mnangagwa e, uh, Achi asuma uh, President Despite my elections Aka itwa Weze Despite a damning report Ya waka bodita Kabuda Wilbert Mukora Achi taura ia Achiti Zimbabwe is one of those countries That has benefited Immensely from this see no evil, hear no evil, and say no evil policy maintained by Sadak Zuganzi. Uh, this is why, in spite of a damning election observer mission report by Sadak itself on August 2023 harmonized elections, the regional body did not take any stand action or even strongly condemn Zimbabwe. As the heads of state preferred to pretend as if all was well in Zimbabwe, as it turns out, the country is even taking over the Sadak chair in August this year. There was much more to why Sadak let Munangagwa off the hook after he rigged 2023 elections than the see no evil, hear no evil, and, so no, and say no evil policy. After Zanu PF bluntly, bluntly rigged the 2008 Zimbabwe elections, Sadak did not deny Zanu PF political legitimacy and forced the regime to agree to the 2008 Global Political Agreement and the 2008 to 2018 GNU. There are four reasons why Sadak did not repeat the 2008 punishment and deny Zano PF legitimacy, regardless of the damning 2023 election reports from the bo from both AU and Sadak. And one, millions of Zimbabwe participated in the flawed elections, knowing fully well. The process was flawed and participating would give Zano PF legitimacy. They soldiered, on, they soldiered on regardless because they believed Chamisa's lies of plunge, plunging all the vote rigging loops was. Two, the winning CCC leaders took up their gravy seats even after Sadak and AU had condemned the election process. They insisted the won seats were in liberated zones where elections were free and fair, and not the gravy train seats given out by Zanu PF as bait or nonsense. And Zek's fail failure to produce a verified voters' roll, for example, affected all constituencies. Chamisa and company participated in the flawed elections out of greed and the claim of liberated zones in just a smoke screen to hide the real reason they were hell bent on participating greed. Three, as soon as the election results were out, before Sadak leaders yet had any chance to digest the results, much less what to do about Zano PF rigging the elections, CCC leaders started fighting amongst themselves over a few gravy train seats the party had won. Self designated CCC Secretary General Sengezo Sharangu started recalling elected officials. CCC imploded. Four, there are some Sadak leaders, notably SAS ANC, who would back the vote rigging Zanu PF rather than see regime change in Zimbabwe. The three reasons above provided the excuse for the do nothing camp in the regional body to prevail. There are reports that some people are planning to hold protest demonstrations during the forthcoming Sadak summit in Harare in August 2024. What is it exactly these people are protesting against? Some people say they will be protesting against Sadak leaders for failing to deny Zanu PF legitimacy after Sadak election observers condemned the 2023 elections and for rewarding the vote rigging Munangagwa with the chairmanship of the regional grouping. True, but it is a big part. It is a big part. These protesters are forgetting that it was Sadak leaders who created the golden opportunity for Zimbabweans to, 
to implement the democratic reforms during the 2008 to 2018 GNU. MDC CCC leaders sold out big time, not only by failed, not only by failing to implement even one token reform, but if particip but they have been participating in flawed elections out of greed. And we, the Zimbabwean public, have played out part in this tragic political and economic crisis that has befallen our country by doing very little to hold both for rigging ZANU-PF and sell out MDC CCC to account. Zimbabwe is a failed state, struck with a rat. 44 years after independence, we are still failing to hold free, fair, and credible elections. One of the reasons why we are stuck is our repeated failure to define and understand our problems, and hence the reason why we are always blundering from pillar to post to post. From pillar to post, we have no clue where we are going. Zimbabweans are prote protesting against SADC for doing nothing to punish ZANU PF for the rigged 2023 elections, and yet they have said nothing about Chamisa and company who participated out of greed and are bought there fully and being easily conned to participate. We really have no clue what is going on. SADC are not responsible for our failure to implement the necessary reforms to ensure free, fair, and credible elections. We are, by blaming SADC for our own fully, we are only showing the world that we are not yet ready to be masters of our own destiny. Goza Buddha, she tower na Wilbert, na Wilbert, Mkwari na Zimbabwe Astora iye achiti Ma Zimbabweans They made a problem They participated in an election Ya vaiziwa kuti ya irigwa Ya izono rigwa mre Zimbabwe Shinzi kusabudi tuwa kaitwa Votas ro kwa hitu wa ratizwa Kuti ma elections ya izono rigwa Paranzi instead ma Zimbabweans Akawani kwa hachi participate With this election So andi zakari ma Zimbabweans Akawani kwa hachi Zakari ma opposition eh, ma opposition uh, MPs aka wani kwa ashi ashi wama sits aka ngawi nwa ne the citizens coalition for change out of greed and the citizens eh, dayo ngwari wangwe wasna kubuma kwa ashi wama oppositions yaya if they were saying my elections angaka rigu wa mre Zimbabwe tiskaze kuti mune wana wana saying ya eh, ii ya budis kwa eh, kuti Zimbabwe haishati ya ready eh, for the freedom Chins, uh, there is no need for Zimbabwe to protest against Masaryk leaders. Chins, they tried their best. Nekupa, uh, they report yaka piwa. Chins, but my Zimbabweans, when I was young, would have chance to say opportunity. Chins, as you can see, now he two zeros are moving. I'm sorry, now he comment section.